Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Likewise, and I'm a BCBA. I'm passionate about helping people study for the BCBA exam because I took mine later in my career, and I have so many friends who are struggling to pass it, and I don't want that to be you. So I make videos for you to help you study. Today, we're going to talk about the difference between discriminated avoidance and free operant avoidance. So stay tuned. <music> Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Like I said, today we're going to break down the difference between free operant avoidance and discriminated avoidance. So the first thing to know is that they're both avoidance procedures. So what does that mean? It means you're avoiding being in a situation exactly like it sounds. You don't need to make it any more complicated than that. If you're already in a situation and you're trying to get out of it, that would be an escape behavior. It's not a free operant avoid or not a avoidance procedure. So avoidance is think about like you stay in your car when it's raining because you don't want to go out in the rain versus if you're in the rain and you run to your car, that's an escape procedure because you're already in the rain. So that's the difference. So what is the difference between discriminated avoidance and free operant avoidance? So well, the difference is there's an SD present for one and there's not an SD present for the other. Okay, I get it, that's a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna break it down and make it really simple with a few examples to make sure it's 100% clear for you. So my dog, Lucky, you might hear him in the background, he's actually whining because he wants to go O-U-T, I can't say the word, but he's in the background right now whining. So he doesn't always do well with other dogs. And so I tend to not take him to the dog park. Now I don't do that because he doesn't like Huskies and he doesn't like German Shepherds. And I want to avoid being in a situation where I bring him to the dog park and there potentially could be a German Shepherd or Husky there and he has a problem, right? That's free operant avoidance, which means I don't actually know whether there's a other uh, German Shepherd or a Husky there, but I'm going to, I'm going to avoid the situation altogether. That's what it means when it says there's no SD present, meaning you don't actually know the thing that you're avoiding is even going to happen, right? The opposite would be a discriminated avoidance. That would be if I'm walking on my way to the dog park and I see there's a husky present in the dog park and I know, okay, I'm not going to go to the dog park because if I go to the dog park, then he is going to you know, for sure the, uh, he's going to have an issue, right? But I know for sure there's a Husky there. The Husky is the SD, so the Husky is present. That would be discriminated avoidance. So I'm going to give you another example. So let's say, you know, where I live, there's lots of speed cameras. So they have like these mobile speed cameras, and I have no idea where they are, right? But I tend to know they're in this neighborhood. So I, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. So I tend to kind of avoid going through that area just in case I get caught with the speed camera. So I'm, I'm having free operant avoidance. The SD may or may not be present because they move the camera all the time. Versus if there is 100% certain there is a speed camera on the street because it's mounted and it's posted and it's been there for years and it's going to be there for years and there's a sign that says it's there and I'm not going to go down that street because I'm positive that the speed camera is present, right? That would be discriminated avoidance. I know the SD is present. The thing I'm avoiding is present. Same thing about maybe going out. Let's say you get into a fight with your ex or a friend of yours and now they're your ex-friend and you know, generally you know she likes to go to a certain bar so you don't go to that bar on Friday night because you think she might be there, right? That is a free operant avoidance. You're avoiding it just in case she's there but you don't know if she's there. There's SD may not be present versus if you know for sure she's there, you, maybe you're on your way driving there and you're looking at your phone at the red light, which you shouldn't be doing, and then you see Facebook and she's there. She posted herself there and she timestamped it and you're like, oh no, she's definitely there. I'm not going to go there because I know for sure she's there. That's discriminated avoidance. So I know this was like a long-winded video. Um, and in the comments below, if you can drop a comment for me, Tell me if you like when I provide all these examples, because I really want to break these tasks down and make you understand them. But I also know as you're studying, you probably have a lot of other things to do and your time is limited. So if you like when I go into so much detail and break down these and give you lots of examples, please drop a comment in the video um, in the section below and let me know to say like, yes, I love having all these examples. It helps me understand it. Or uh, maybe just one, you didn't need to give me three, I got it. Or, you know, let me know, do you want these videos shorter or do you want more information in them? Because whatever you want, I'm here to serve you. That's what I'm doing. I want to help you study. 
On that note, I did partner with Dr. Catherine May from ABA Mindset. We're going to be putting out a course to help you study. We have an incredibly special offer if you're interested. If you want to check it out, just look um, at the website, Task List 5, um, and the link will be in the comments below, and you can check out what we have put together for you. So I hope to see you guys again soon. If you have any questions, just head over to my website, hopeeducationservices.com. There's a form on there. You can fill it out, get your question answered on the next video. And happy studying.